Hey everyone, welcome to Pie's Kitchen. So we are making a cold drink today. So the other day I went to Starbucks and I got their toasted coconut cold brew, which was sort of the talk of the town at the time. And I thought, wow, coffee and coconut, that's a really great flavor combination. It's got to be good. So I got myself one and I thought, hmm, I think I can do better than this. So I went home and tried my own recipe and here we are. I made a delicious coconut cold brew that I really want to share with you guys. Let's get started. So of course we have to start with the cold brew coffee and this is actually my new favorite way of making coffee now is cold brewing. So you want to start with some coffee beans. For this I recommend dark roast and non-acidic coffee. So the hipster fruity note coffee that doesn't work in this recipe, okay? There we go. So I'm doing quick blitz because I don't want to accidentally get, you know, powderized coffee. This is very full. Okay, so just coarse grind, particularly because I'm going to be doing it in a French press and I don't want a ton of fine grounds coming through the mesh, right? Okay, I'm going to pour this into my French press, French press jug here. Ah, I made a mess. Now, if you don't have a French press, what you can also do is use um, a muslin bag. Like if you've seen my Thai tea, Thai coffee recipe, um, I use one of those bags. I'll definitely put a link to the product I'm talking about right over here in the description below, actually. You can go and take a look at what that product is I'm talking about, but it's super convenient. It's like a big bag. You put the coffee and let it soak, okay? Okay just cold water and you want this to be drinking tasty water. Give that a stir. Oh, looks like I got some grounds that are too big, but that's okay. I blame that on Adam's coffee grinder. So now that's just gonna sit at room temperature overnight. So 12 hours. If you're gonna do longer than that, like 24 hours, I'd stick it in the fridge so that you don't start getting bacteria growing in it. And don't press it until you're ready to use, like press it halfway just to close it. But you want the coffee to be able to just loosely swim in there. Okay, and I have to tell you this, this is a lot of coffee. So if you're just by yourself and you wanna make just personal cold brew coffee, what you'll need is a mini French press! Look how cute this is! <laughs> this is actually Adam's and he was like, I have just the perfect thing for you. <laughs> so the part of the coffee that gives the toasted coconut flavor is in the toasted coconut syrup. So we are going to make just that. So I'm going to start out by toasting my coconut. So just shredded dried coconut and you want to get this dark toasted, not light golden brown. You want to develop a deep, dark, toasty flavor. And you want to keep it moving because otherwise you'll get uneven toasting. I'm going to push it. I really want that toasty, toasty flavor. If you remember my Mian Kam episode, yeah, you want that dark toasted coconut. Okay, we're almost there. Be ready with the water. I'm actually going to turn the heat off just so it doesn't go too crazy. Very nice. Woo! It still went crazy. My goodness. So what I am doing now is infusing the water that I'm going to use for the syrup with the coconut flavor. So I'm going to let this simmer for a little while. All right. Wow. I can smell that in the air. So I'm going to turn this off now and I'm going to strain out all of this coconut. I want to make sure I get every last bit. Okay. So now I'm going to press every last juice out of this thing. Eh, there we go. And you can see how that water has taken on the color and the flavor of the coconut. Now, the reason why I am straining it into a measuring cup is because I want to know how much volume I have left because I'm going to make sure that I add just about one part um, sugar to one part water. And you know, everybody's going to end up with different amounts of liquid so that's why this is convenient and you also notice there's a layer of oil on top and that's the coconut oil that came out that's flavor right there it's good leave it i am adding palm sugar just because hey we're on the coconut theme right why not use coconut sugar you can use definitely white sugar or light brown sugar if you'd like now because i'm using palm sugar it's going to have a bit of a hard time dissolving so i'm just gonna stick this in the microwave and help it get going a little bit Ooh, perfect 
so there's just a few big lumps but then usually at this stage you could just stir and press it with the spatula or a spoon and the lumps will all go away. And that is it. We are now ready to assemble. So here is my cold brew that I made yesterday in my beautiful French press here. And I should tell you too that the reason why we cold brew as opposed to hot brew is because when you cold brew something, the low temperature actually draws out fewer compounds, specifically acidic flavor compounds. So that means that your coffee will be less acidic and when you taste it, it'll feel like it's sweeter and smoother. I also find it a little less bitter too when I cold brew it. But will this work with a hot brew that you've chilled? Sure, why not? Okay, and you can also reheat your cold brew and have it as hot coffee in the morning, which is what I do now. So then in the morning, I don't spend any time making coffee, which is my kind of idea. Okay, so now here is my syrup that I made earlier. I'm going to add now, of course, just like any beverage. You can add as much or as little of the syrup as you want. If you like your beverages sweet, add more sugar to the syrup, but don't make it too sweet because then you won't be able to add a lot of syrup and then you get less coconut flavor. Because just remember that your coconut flavor is tied to the syrup. So if you add a lot, you get more coconut. If you add little, you get less. Okay. All right. And now coconut milk. This is where I think my recipe really differs. I am using actual coconut milk that I cook with. I think what Starbucks uses is actually coconut beverage. You know, the coconut milk that they, they now have and they use it as a milk substitute. So that coconut has had to coconut oil, coconut fat taken out of it and coconut flavor is in that fat. So you end up with like this milky thin beverage that doesn't taste anything like coconut. So this is the key here. You want to use good real coconut and if you want to know my favorite brand of coconut milk, I'll put the link in the description below. You can check that out. Okay. And now we've got some ice and all you have to do is pour. Oh yes. Oh, I'm so thirsty with a green straw, of course. It's so refreshing. It tastes tropical. Mm. Oh, just the right amount of creamy, just the right amount of sweet, and that toasty coconut flavor really comes through. Oh, it's such a great combination. And I knew this would work. You know why? Because in Thailand, we make a dessert that is a coffee and coconut jelly. And together, those flavors work really well. So when I heard about this concept, I knew it was gonna work, and it's so tasty. Really easy, you can make the cold brew in advance, the syrup will keep in your fridge forever for a long time, so you can make that in advance. And then coconut milk, hey, if you watch my show, you probably stock coconut milk in your pantry. So I hope you give this a try. The recipe, as always, will be on pieskitchen.com. And when you make it, let me know what you think and send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to the show, please do so you never miss an episode. Make sure you also click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That's how you make sure you get notified when I send, when I post a new video. That's it. I will see you next time for your next delicious adventure.